Well, being on campus has been amazing. Uh, it's changed quite a bit, and it's been almost 20 years since I've actually walked through all the areas, but um, Dr. Martin is doing an amazing job. He has everything on schedule and on point according to his vision for St. Ed's, and it's been amazing to see the growth and transformation of, of the university into you know, one of the biggest, smallest schools, basically, in Texas. And uh, I, I loved being on campus and, and seeing all the old faces that I remember and that helped me along the way get in my journey matriculating through here. Um, as far as to the, the honor tonight, it's um, unbelievable, actually. I, I, I never thought I would ever get to this point. I, I always listen to other players talk about their jerseys being retired at their colleges or universities. And, and just to have it done here for me um, means you know, more than I can say. I've, I've definitely been blessed in, in everything that has led from me attending St. Edwards on up. And for them to recognize me in this way, it's, it's just unbelievable. It's amazing. I'm, I'm so excited. Let's reflect back on your, your times being here. Um, tell us uh, about you know, what it was like first being here at school, and, and let's reflect back on some of the moments like scoring 50 points in one game. <laughs> well, when I went, the era was a lot different. It, I mean, it, I start, I'm my, giving away my age, but you know, <laughs> 20 years ago, you know, at a small private school, there weren't a lot of athletic players, I'll say that. Um, when I came and, and Coach McKee actually saw me, he was enthralled that day. I didn't even finish before, you know, he was telling everybody, I got to get her, I'm going to get her here. And um, even in the NAIA um, avenue, it wasn't a lot of players that were like me. And I was still raw at that time. I'd only played high school three years. And I went to Georgia State and, and maybe played half a year because I had been pregnant and I had my daughter. And I didn't get to play again until January. And I played January, February, and our season was over by the middle of March. So I'm coming here really a raw athletic player into a system that kind of wasn't used to that type of player. So um, I thrived here because our coach at the time had a hands-on, hands-off approach. If it's not fixed, don't. If it's not broken, don't fix it. And what is needing to be fixed, he just tinkled with it a little bit just to get it um, actually the way we need it for our system. And the fact that I played with such great players who understood my deficiencies and my strengths and allowed me to play to my strengths, one of the reasons that I was able to score 50 points in a game, which at that time was, I mean, <laughs> for me it was unheard of for a lot of players. Uh, even now, I, I think of 50 points. I, I, my husband said something about Kobe Bryant, and I'm thinking, mm -hmm. yeah, Kobe shoots a lot to get his 50 points. And <laughs> last night I listened to uh, Coach Coach White talk about I had 60% field goal, and I couldn't even see the basket at that time. So it's pretty awesome here. Some of the records you have, I mean, the like you said, 60% shooting, the 1,837 mm -hmm. career points. Um, just kind of take us back to uh, being the NAIA Player of the Year in 1993. How special was that year? That was extra special, mainly, and I know Katie Smith, who's one of my good friends now, she was actually playing in the title game against, you know, somebody named Cheryl Swoops. And I think it was something like Cheryl had 47, Katie had 42 points, and we were all down at the, the uh, NCAA Final Four women's game. And I was so excited. I was like, I was NAI Player of the Year. And I got there, and then I was like, oh, oh. wow, it's Katie Smith, it's Cheryl Swoops, whoa. Never thinking that I would be playing with them, playing against them ever. I would have never thought that my wildest dreams. And when I look back on it, I, I, when I talked to Cheryl about it, she was like, yeah, I do kind of remember you. We were at one of the events. And I'm like, really, Cheryl? Now we're good friends, but I'm like, really? I remember you, you took pictures with me, we were hanging out, but it was a hectic time for them. But that, that time of my life was really just uh, gravy for what you know, I'd experienced just playing here at St. Ed's, and, it, and it's shown more light on St. Edwards than me, and I think that was important at the time. How special was last year um, with Minnesota and, and accomplishing the things you guys accomplished? Uh, that, that, that team, this team with Minnesota, is, it's, it's rare in sports to have a team that, one, get along well together, two, have one vision, and three, are able to take the vision of the coach onto the court and actually perform it. And with Minnesota, we were able to do all three of those things, plus the bonus of keeping everyone healthy. And you know, being in sports, that's the major issue when you want a team to win a title, is keeping your key players injury free. And we were able to do all of that, and it just turned a city, electrified the city, electrified um, our, our fan base, 
electrified, I think, some of the people in our front office, too, who might have been on the downward slope of giving up on the women's team. And I think, in part, it has now electrified, you know, the Minnesota Timberwolves and their fan base, too, because they are so happy and excited about ours that it brought some of that excitement, along with Ricky Rubio and Kevin Love, into their injected a little excitement in their fan base and has proven that they're and a new coach, of course, Rick Adelman. But it's given them a, a little more life than they had previously. And, and finally, um, you're getting ready to go to Poland. Uh, mm -hmm. So does that mean you're going to play another year in the WNBA? I, I re-signed to play with Minnesota Lynx about two weeks ago. So I got one more year in me. We'll see after that year what's up. But I'm going to play in Poland until May. And then I'll head over to the Minnesota Lynx to try to defend that title. And looking back on your WNBA career, what's your thoughts? Diverse. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of cities, a lot of players. I, I love people and I love playing. And those two things together is, is the career I've had in the WNBA. I get to meet and play against not only the top players, but also some really great people. And, and for me, that, that's been uh, the best part of my career. Awesome. Thank you very much. It's I appreciate a pleasure. it.